All right, so what I want to try to accomplish here is try to answer the question, why move the decimal point when multiplying with decimals? And what I mean, what I mean by that is this. So if you're multiplying 2 tenths times 1 tenth and you're just using the algorithm, 1 times 2 is 2. Well, 2 what? You're supposed to know that you should divide by 10. Divide by 10, move that decimal over twice, and make that 2 hundredths. So why does that why does that occur? Why does that happen? Um, well, let's try to explain that. So again, I'm going to start with two tenths times one tenth, and I've drawn out in my hundredths grid two tenths. And again, I'm not taking one group of two tenths. I'm taking one tenth group of two tenths. Now again, I would show my one tenth group of two tenths. And what is that going to be? Well, there's my one tenth of the group of two tenths. One group, sorry, one tenth group of two tenths, which is, what is that, two out of a hundred, which is two hundredths. So why does that occur that way? Uh, when you're looking at the algorithm, of course, they're gonna have to match up, but why are we moving that decimal exactly? And how does that become two hundredths? That's kind of what we're looking at. So let's say I have two tenths, so two tenths, let's go back, two tenths, and I'm taking one tenth of two tenths, one tenth group of two tenths. So what I could do is think about it like this. I have two tenths, and I'm going to cut it into ten pieces, one, two, cut it into ten pieces, and we're trying to figure out, well, how much is in each group? Because each one of these would be a one tenth group of two tenths, right? So let's do that. Let's divide two tenths by 10. So let's think about this. How many times will 10 go into two? Well, remember that's not two, it's two tenths. So how many tenths would that be? 10 times what can get you close to two tenths? Well, it wouldn't work. So let's try zero. 10 times zero is zero, subtract two. Well, what did that do? Well, it showed us that we can't take any tenth tenths groups, tenths out. So we would have to do hundredths now. So let's think about this. 10 times what can equal 20? Well, 10 times 2 is 20. Subtract to 0. So what we showed is this, that let me back. 1 tenth of 2 tenths is two hundredths. That's what that proves. Remember when I said we're taking one tenth groups of two tenths. One tenth group of two tenths is two hundredths. So remember we started with two tenths and if we're going to take a tenth we're multiplying it by another tenth that would be one decimal. What we're doing, think about the difference. If I went from two tenths to two hundredths if what I did is I divided by 10, when I divided by 10, I moved that decimal over essentially, right? So here, let's look at the algorithm again. 2 tenths times 1 tenth. 1 times 2 is 2. Well, that was 2 tenths. And then I also know that I'm taking not 1 tenth group, sorry, not 1 whole group, but a tenth of a group. So I need to move that decimal over again by dividing by 10, which is what we did which will get you two hundredths. So essentially, what you're doing is saying, okay, I'm starting here with this decimal, two tenths, right? But I didn't take one whole group, I took a tenth of a group, so I needed to divide by 10 again. And that's what moves that decimal over. Dividing by 10 is where that decimal, is making that decimal move over. So let's just do something a little different here really quick. Two tenths times three tenths, well, two times three is six. We were taking three tenths groups of two tenths, so let's say that was that was, should have been our decimal here already, right? So one decimal. But then we are also multiplying by not three whole groups, but a tenth of three groups. So that's three tenths. So the decimal would have originally been here, but we need to divide by ten again, like we did over here, moving that decimal one more time over. So we had the decimal over once, 
Then we moved it over because we divided by 10 one more time, which got us six hundredths.